let's talk namespaces. We've used namespaces a little bit. Uh, for example, we did the um, uh, the C out thing and the inline thing. Uh, but this time I wanted to explain a little bit what they're about. There's a lot of uh, deep dark corners about namespaces we don't need to get into, we don't need to understand. In fact, C++ itself has several dark corners, which you can find and explore and research, but I'm, I'm not into that. We're into understanding the dark corners that'll be gotchas, and then leaving the rest uh, for those who like to go there, because it, it's not going to move us forward. Anyway, so if we have a class um, person, um, and then say, or how about this, we could say vector, vector is probably better. So class vector, and you could think of that as a mathematical vector or some other kind of vector. Um, and then let's say uh, we have two vectors for whatever reason, and this actually, just just go with this, okay, because this does happen, um, that you'll have two types exposed in the same uh, file. Yeah, just roll with it. Um, if I say uh, void main here, and I say vector v, and I try to build, again, they're saying, hey, you are have you already have a vector class in fact uh maybe you caught that i forgot my semicolons let's just put them there uh but anyway it says hey uh, class type vector uh, redefinition and let's say this version of vector is completely different from this one and perhaps i wanted to use the bottom one but uh it might think i wanted to do the top it's ambiguous here so <clears throat> the, comp the compiler complains and says hey i have two vectors what do you want to do about it well so um, a naive approach or maybe an early approach would be uh, just to make up some really complicated ugly long names and and mangle this as much as possible so I can say my vector and your vector and so I need to be more explicit here saying your vector if that's the bot if that's the one I want to use which is the bottom one in this case and I build compilers happy because the names are different but really the only purpose that your and my serves here is just to make these two vector types unique and <clears throat> really we just want to say vector and not worry about uh, basically polluting our names with extra stuff just to complicate things so so hence the birth of namespaces and uh, and, and namespaces are well they're pretty simple they just declare uh, another they, they set up another area of scope so I Let's just say namespace my uh, the, no semicolon here uh, is necessary. Let's see, and then uh, names whoopsie namespace your or you. Let's do your. So now I have these two type these two namespaces and vectors nested quite nicely into the namespaces. So now I can still call it vector. It's vector to me and that makes sense and good deal. Um, but now the compiler is complaining saying I don't know what a vector is and that's because we have now hidden or nested this vector class in these namespaces. So there's a few ways to say exactly which vector I want to use. Um, one way is to say using my vector and basically that opens it up and it says in the namespace my scope into it we've seen this before the scope resolution operator so in the namespace my scope into it you will see vector I'm using it expose it and so down here when I say vector v, um, v that that resolves to be my vector now of course I could just bring the problem back if I want to I could say using your vector and now it's ambiguous again. It says using declaration causes a multiple declaration of your vector. Well, that's not too precise of an error, but you get the idea. Anyway, so, oops, that's not going to work. Um, but, but using this, we can be more explicit. So say I did want to switch to your vector instead of my vector. I could comment this line out or delete it. And now when I say vector here, the vector that is exposed currently is your vector. So cool. So let's say we have another class in here. We can say class, I don't know, car. Let's just put a car in there. I have my car. 
we could do your car, but maybe you have a bus, class bus. Um, now we don't really have any name collisions here, a car versus a bus, that's, uh, the namespaces don't really bias anything. But uh, if I want to use car here, I have to do the same thing. I have to say using um, my colon colon car. And so now when I say car in main, it looks at car, or it says, okay, well, it's exposed. And it turns out my car is exposed, so the compiler can resolve this car to be my car. Um, and then I'm just going to pop this back to my. So say I want to use my vector in my car, uh, so vector v. Uh, it should compile fine because there is a car type and a vector type. Well, you can imagine uh, my namespace. In fact, I think we're done with your namespace. I'm just going to get rid of it. Um, sorry. You can could, you could imagine my namespace being filled with all sorts of interesting types that are necessary, but and, and it could get complicated. One way to expose several types, if, if, if we had several different classes in here, we would need a separate using for every single one using this approach. Uh, so another way around it, which is a little more dangerous, but again, I'm not going to get into the religious holy war part of things right now. Uh, but another way to do it is say using namespace my. And that essentially opens up everything in the my namespace so that I can use it. So now car and vector, I can still see them because they are in the namespace my and, and I exposed everything in the my namespace right here. If I comment this line of code out, build it again, it says I don't know what a car is, I don't know what a vector is, help me out. So anyway, another, another way to uh, get around this, which is a little, uh, actually a lot safer, but can get tedious as well is um, we can say, hey, my colon colon car. And uh, essentially, we're just scoping it directly here and saying, in the my name space, go into that scope and you will find a car type. In this case, the car type is a class. Um, so anyway, um, that's namespaces in a nutshell. Uh, so hopefully that makes more sense when I say pound include IO stream, and I haven't told you what the pound include thing does quite yet, but basically it brings in a whole bunch of stuff so I can use it in this file. But in that file, there's a namespace called standard. So I can say using uh, namespace std. And I've used that syntax with you before. I can also say using std c out, which is a little more narrow. It's just saying I just want c out. I don't want everything in the standard namespace, uh, which uh, this feels good because I'm not using a cannon versus a little handgun. We want to be as precise as possible. A lot of people frown on this using namespace because it exposes so much. Anyway, but in the IO stream a file that we've brought in, um, I have using namespace or using standard C out, using standard uh, inline. Notice there's there's a lot of things in there that we get if I say using namespace standard. I mean, all this stuff is exposed, which really isn't a problem if there's no name collisions, but there could be. There could be because I could bring in two different files that have the same name for the for different things. So anyway, whew, that's long. Let's, let's, uh, let's ignore that. Anyway, so now I can say C out high end line and and it, these things are exposed because of the using statement. So namespaces in a nutshell. Again, lots of other things we could get into, uh, caveats. We'll see some later, but for the most part, that's all we need to know for now.